Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, we're going to be talking about taking your business to the next level through digital transformation. That's just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. to my show. Well, if anything good came from the pandemic, it's that businesses had to take a real hard look at what they were doing and everything has gone digital, clearly. To talk about that, uh, Kevin Bonfield, he is the uh, founder and managing partner of Concenter. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks, Jeff. It's good to be here. Before we get into what your company does, I want you to tell your background because uh, mm -hmm. you're a uh, entrepreneur of, say, 10 years, but before yep. that you worked in corporate America. I, I did, and um, I'm sure that people will work out pretty quickly that I didn't grow up in America. I grew up in the UK. <laughs> I didn't notice. Was that East Texas? Or? Far, far, far East, East Texas. Texas. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I grew up in the UK, um, started working with Bain & Company as a consultant, moved here, uh, and then had some time in Australia as well, spent six months in Australia, uh, right around the time that I met my wife, and then and then came back and, and settled. Um, uh, worked for EDS just up the road Very cool. uh, for a number of years. In fact, I, I have a number of uh, clients and very, very good friends who I continue to, to spend time with uh, from, from that time. Uh, and then when EDS and HP merged, I decided to step out on, onto my own and start my own consulting company. Okay, so. now that's always scary because I did it too. I worked yep. at, 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 at you know commercial television for 25 years. Uh, when you talk to your wife, you said, honey, I'm thinking about doing this. Was she say, did she say, no, don't do it? Or was she like, go for it? Well, the, uh, at the time, I kind of engineered being pushed out a little bit. So there was, there was more of a landing pad for me that I created on, on the way out the door. So it, it, it worked out well. She was actually, um, uh, she was actually very supportive uh, when I did that. Although, uh, right at the same time, we, we, we just had our first child, and then the, the second child was on the way shortly thereafter. So, uh, you know, prob probably I would be more risk averse now than I was then, but then I was ready to get going. <laughs> I get it, I get it. And there's an interesting story behind the name, Concenter. Yeah, so, um, so it's RE, because I'm British, rather than ER. And as we were thinking about the name, we wanted something which represented what, what it is that we do, and, and consenter means to align, and that's a lot of what we do. We get people on the same page, moving in the same direction so that they can, uh, they can change their businesses. Uh, and, and when we sat down and we were just reviewing the names and saying, well, wh what do we think about this? I took it home to my wife and I said, what do you think? Uh, consenter, I think it's a great name. And she looks at me and she says, well, uh, it sounds very much like Concentra, the healthcare company here in town. And my response was, well, I don't think we need to worry about that. We're not a healthcare company. We're never going to go do work for them. Um, nobody's ever going to get confused. And of course, they were our second client. <laughs> <laughs> Which was very confusing. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so tell us more about uh, what your company does and how you help clients. Sure. So we work with medium and large companies that, um, that are trying to do big things. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. I like working with people who are entrepreneurial in nature, even if they're working in large companies. Uh, and we help them get ready for whatever's next uh, in their business. Um, and so we try and help them uh, really clear out the clutter, right? Make it simple. Here, rather than 10 priorities, here are the three things that you need to do to be successful. And then we help them go and execute it. And, and we've worked with, with clients from Southwest Airlines here in town to Tesla, um, to uh, to other software and, and, and technology companies around the world. You, you told me before we went on the air that you had an interesting story with a meeting and events company. Yeah, we, we did a lot of work for uh, for CWT. Uh, CWT is a um, is a travel management company uh, similar to Amex, mm -hmm. and um, we did work for their meetings and events division last year. Uh, sorry, two years ago, uh, but extending into the beginning of, of this year. 
uh, right up until the, the, the pandemic hit. And a lot of the work that we were doing with them was, how do we take you from, um, from doing the things that you've already done to putting a strategy in place that's going to help you grow and be resilient in the future? Uh, and obviously, meetings and events companies have been hit very hard uh, through the pandemic because people aren't traveling, they're not meeting. Uh, but the, uh, the new uh, processes and organization and culture that, uh, that we work together with them on has put them in great stead and they're, they're going to be thriving on the back end of this. I mean, they're, they're much in a much better place to weather this storm, uh, but they're going to be thriving uh, as, uh, as demand comes back. Yes. The pan pandemic um, causes uh, leaders to have uh, challenges. Yes. And you have a great video that we found. We're going to go ahead and roll that now. I love the beach. My family loves the beach. And so when we go on holiday, the first thing we do when we get there is drop our bags off and rush down to see the sunset. Sunset's a great time. The reds, oranges, yellows, blues, purples. It's the end of a great day. And there are plenty of people there to celebrate with you, wandering up and down the beach, finding shells, putting their feet in the water. Now I'm an early riser. I usually get up at 5.30 in the morning. So when I go on vacation, I can't turn that off. So the next morning I was up again, wandering up and down the beach, but this time for sunrise. I was the only person there. In fact, for the first 30 minutes, I didn't even see any birds there. It wasn't until I turned round that I saw the first person also walking along the beach. So what's the difference between sunrise and sunset? To me, it's the leaders who are out at sunrise. They're setting the direction and inspiring everybody else as to what's possible during the day. And if they do a great job and inspire enough people, then there will be plenty to celebrate at the end of the day when sunset comes around. So what can you do today? How can you lead in your world? That's wonderful. I love that. That, that felt like Zig Ziglar to me. That was a very <laughs> inspirational. I'm cool. going to have to follow you on social media. Um, you are, are a fast-growing company. In fact, you yeah. just received a nice honor. We got a, a, an article that we're going to put up on the screen. Uh, 2020 Top 10 Digital Transformation Consulting Services. Tell us about that honor. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> we've spent a lot of time working with companies uh, on digital transformation. There's a lot that's said about it. Um, but the way that we think about it is it's not just helping you get from here to there. It's helping you build the capabilities so that you can go on the journey yourself in future, right? So it's, it's building the sales capabilities or the culture or the process that you need um, that, 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 that's going to make you successful in the future. And that was, that was the thought process uh, uh, around the article which you, which you see in there. Um, but obviously we've worked with, with some great companies and uh, we were very honored to receive it. Mm. What uh, what kind of clients do you like to work with, and, and how does one know if they need you? Sure. Um, we tend to work, we've worked with very large companies. We're, we're finding now that uh, actually our sweet spot is more in the, the, in the mid-market uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, we tend to find people who are more entrepreneurial in their thinking. They want to go and do big things, uh, and they're willing to make decisions and move faster. And we find that much more energizing that we can have a direct impact on here's the advice, here's the, the suggestions on the, on the direction you go in, and then it, and then it moves. Uh, that's much more exciting to us because part of wh what gets us up in the morning so that we're on the beach is, uh, is that we want to leave a legacy through the people that we do work with. We mm. want them to have that impact. Before we uh, wrap up, I want to give a shout out to EO because we're, yep. both, we're both members. Uh, you uh, predate me uh, by about a year, but uh, it's a wonderful organization. Tell, tell everybody about EO and what you get out of it. So uh, I joined EO about seven years ago, uh, and um, it, it's, it's the camaraderie and the network of people who are going through the issues that you're going through on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and uh, obviously I joined in Dallas, uh, mm -hmm. we're both members in Dallas, um, but just the network that's outside of Dallas uh, in, in the US and around the world. Uh, I've been very lucky because I've, I've not only been a member, I've been on the board and I've, and I've served in other, in other respects uh, through the organization. So the great thing is that uh, if there's an issue that I have and, I, and I've got a pretty good sense of, of somebody who can help solve it, I, I get texts in the middle of the night from India and Europe on, uh, here's suggestions uh, of, of where to go. Very true, and there's a lot of entrepreneurs around the globe who get up at, at, at sunrise. Yes. Uh, 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 and even earlier. And <laughs> so even earlier. <laughs> so, Kevin, you've been a great guest. We're going to put your website up to end the segment. It's uh, concenter.net. That's it. It's the website. And, uh, Kevin, thank you so much for being on the show. Hey, it's great to be here. You bet. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time.